Hello everyone and welcome to Angel Tarot Card Readings by Tim. This is our weekly Angel Oracle Card Reading for the week of February 8th through Sunday, Valentine's Day, February 14th. And this week I'm going to be using Doreen Virtue's Angel Dreams Oracle Card Deck. Now let's go ahead and get us started to see what we can expect for Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Now the first card is purple. This is our third eye, and this is clairvoyance. Now I'm really focusing on the eye here, so this is about trusting what you're seeing. This is also, uh, for a lot of us, it's going to be dream work. Trust what you see in your dreams. You're also being guided that if you are afraid to have dreams, that you're being guided, especially with Archangel Michael, that you can call upon Archangel Michael to come into your dreams so that you know that it is safe for you to dream and to open up your third eye so that you can clearly see. This is also uh, very much associated with the third eye in the sense that this is psychic vision. So you may be getting some premonitions, and this could be noticing the signs. This can be through repetition of certain numbers. This can be events. This could be even names that you may hear on a regular basis this week. So if you have any of those signs that come into play, repetitive numbers, follow through with that and trust that guidance. Now as we move into the middle part, which is Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, this is stairs, and this is about direction and timing. Now, the one thing that I had asked before I started the reading here, and I was shuffling the deck, is I specifically wanted the cards to come through as it would relate to relationships, because we're moving into Sunday, which is of course, which is of course Valentine's Day. So I wanted to know what we needed to know in regards to that. And this, of course, is stairs. And this is about direction and exact timing. You know, you may have felt that in some uh, aspects of your life for this week, or will be, that you may not feel like you're quite ready to take that next step, which is associated with the step with the stairs. This is saying to move forward. Now, whenever I see stairs, I always relate that, you know, you don't have to know what's on the very top of the staircase. Now, how this... Um, correlates for this week is that when I'm explaining this to my clients is that this is very much like, for example, uh, I was talking about resolutions last week and how we are setting those resolutions and what we want to do for January and what we need to do for February and March and April and so forth all the way through the end of the year. Well, see, that's, that's the thing. That's a lot of planning for something that hasn't even occurred yet. And that's what this message is, is it's great to plan. But the thing is, is that you just need to take one step at a time. Because you don't know what's on that third, the fourth, the seventh, the tenth, or that last stair, which might be the twentieth stair there. You do see what's in front of you, which is the first step. So take the first step, you get a clear vision of what that step's about. And then, of course, you see the next step, which is step number two. If you can move in that pattern, you will get to the 20th step much more clearly than if you tried to just rush through it. So the message for this, uh, the staircase here, is that this is about timing. Don't rush through things. Take your, take your time with this and just take one little step at a time. And as this relates to relationships, one of the things that I'm being told is that this is about feelings for some of us. And this is about admitting the true feelings to yourself. So this is being honest with yourself on some level. This could be with your marriage. This could be with a current partnership. Or this could be uh, in relation to a future partnership of somebody that's not in your life right now, but you're wanting to draw that person in. And... This is saying to go for it, to take, to be assertive and move forward with the plans that you have one little step at a time. But we need to be clear on what our feelings are. The other uh, aspect of this is that I keep hearing that this is about if you are in a relationship and there are 
let's, because uh, I'm feeling that there could be some, oh, conflict in some of the relationships for some of the viewers here. And if there are, I'm hearing that you need to see the love in that other person. Look at that person. Learn to, learn to see that other person from the that other person's eyes is what I mean to say with this. So this is about learning to see them and see the beauty in that other person. And when you begin to notice that, when you begin to see the beautiful qualities in that other individual, rather than focusing on the negative, the conflict begins to slowly dissolve. And, there, there, it, and we can expect a healing that will occur with this. This is also about moving through, I'm hearing moving through this week, with just grace and calm. Because they're telling me to, um, to say, let them know that this is about also connecting with nature. And I kept asking, what does that mean? And they're saying that this is about just as you would respect nature, that's what they want you to do with the people that you are surrounded by this week. This is about respect and treating them with grace and kindness. So as we move throughout this week, remember that message, because they say that that's very important. Now, the final card here, which is Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, here we have Violet, a lot of purple energy. This is high vibrational energy for this week. And this is spirituality, wisdom, and humility. Now, the violet is the representation of the purple that we had from the third eye. But now we have that red that's mixed in with it, which is from the root chakra. And, of course, the root chakra red is all about uh, security. And this is also security in relationships, too. So this is asking us, again, as we go with, especially, I'm really drawn to the stair card here, that this is about developing one little step at a time to develop that solid relationship, whether it's there or whether you're wanting to draw that into your life. And when we can do that, that's where, again, I feel there's a healing. There's a door that opens up for us for this week. So those are the messages that come through for this week. I really appreciate you watching. If you are new to my channel, feel free to subscribe. I'm also on Facebook. You will find all of my information at the very end of this video. And as always, if I can assist you with a personal reading, please see my info at the end of the video here, and don't hesitate to contact me. Thank you, everyone. Have a blessed week, and until next time, angel blessings. Bye now.